can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you What's up guys? Welcome back here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're um we're working on the seven series again. So we're here in the little hoopty, uh the, the car that I don't know if it was the most financially best decision I could have made in my life. But just to put it out there, guys, the reason that I'm purchasing this car is is not for financial reasons, it's definitely for just the satisfaction of bringing a car back together. I haven't done a satisfying car like this in a little bit. This is one of those cars that I know nobody else will save end of the day. This will be completely junked out and nobody will ever care about it if it doesn't get saved so the only person to do it is somebody as crazy as me or one of you enthusiasts as well so i decided you know what this car still has plenty of life in it from what i can tell it's just very 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 neglected i mean very very neglected did i mention very i meant i meant ex extraordinarily Oh my god. Neglected. I mean, we're rocking no bumper right now, cracked windshield, smoker's car, bunch of things that are just messed up in this car. But it's going to be so satisfying when we see this thing come together and it's going to be with no lights. Hopefully everything's going to be fixed and that is the goal of this car. I saw one of you guys' comments down below some way that you can actually like pull on like a, the power brake cable or something and this thing will start working again. It won't go in park, but what you guys said underneath the driver's footwell, there is something we can access. So we will be accessing that hopefully in a little bit. But so right now we are heading over to get some new parts for the car uh we need a bumper we need a fender and i think i found somebody who's selling black fenders and black oem bumper and this is m sport so m sport i don't even get the rear bumper i mean i mean the rear bumper there's nothing really wrong with it but hey if we're gonna go m sport we should go send it all right guys the car is not shifting at all today so that is a new thing so what i'm gonna go ahead and do since i brought carly let's go ahead and just park the car clear the lights and uh head from there and see if that helps out our situation um, if not, it'll make it worse, but if it does, it'll at least help us get from point A to point B, get it back home and do a full proper diagnostic. Let's go ahead and just clear the lights real quick. So I plugged in Carly. Let's see if that key thing is here. What are you guys saying? There's a key thing down here? I don't really see anything that a key plugs into. Um, hmm. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and clear the lights real quick. I'll look into it more, guys, but if you guys know exactly what that uh, what that comment meant, I'm gonna throw that comment right there. Where exactly is that key thing, maybe the passenger. I need to relook at that comment again. Some place, apparently I'm supposed to turn this and everything's supposed to fix itself. I'm really hoping that's an actual thing. Let's go ahead and just clear these lights real quick. I'm, I'm just, I don't know what's going on here, guys. <laughs> guys, I really don't know if this is, if this is a really a bad decision. I know a lot of guys are gonna say it's a bad decision, but it's the experience, you know? If this thing blows up at the end of the day, you know, lesson learned, nor don't buy, don't buy such a lemon. But if at the end of the day we can save it, it's just gonna be one of the most satisfying things on this channel so something i really want to do oh my god 125 percent 63 codes oh my lord <laughs> 36 percent already over 100 codes oh my god clearly it has not been cleared in a little bit hmm. i didn't think it was gonna be that bad 260 codes <laughs> uh let's just go ahead and uh, see the airbag ones exactly so it's saying that air airbag driver valve resistance a whole bunch of random codes let's just go ahead and just clear everything and then uh go on this drive and get all the stuff that we need by the time we get home we should be able to actually see what the real codes are so again we're just gonna go ahead and clear everything this is gonna take a little bit so i'll see you guys when we're on our way the side of the road with low oil again so uh let's go ahead and top it off with some more oil I, it has a massive oil filter housing leak it is bad on the side of the freeway <laughs> on day one oh my god <laughs> just go ahead and turn this thing off real quick we're already on the side of the road we need to put a little bit more oil in this n54 guys i just found out something new guys i think we might have a blown head gasket yep that's never news you want to see let's go ahead and check our coolant real quick our coolant's in max. All right, guys, I'm gonna set you guys down. I'm just super scared to be on the side of the road right now. It's probably not the safest place. Let me try to get figure this out, and then we'll head out. So we're back in the car. We're on our way. The oil level is okay now. We put some oil in it, um, but uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of low key worried now. It looks like we have oil and coolant mixed in our oil. Oil in the coolant is okay. It's not a big deal. It's just because the oil filter housing gasket. This is all part of the adventure, guys. So I'm not really too upset. 
It is what it is. This is life. You win some, you lose some, and uh, this is one of those ones that you never know, and it's kind of like borderline. So we're about to find out. This is going to be an interesting video because I don't know what's going to happen. You guys don't know what's going to happen, so uh, I guess stay tuned. So we just made it. Let's see what parts they have, and I might still get the Fender if you can do it for 100 bucks. We'll see. We'll see. I, I just have to talk to him, let him know the situation. Maybe he can do it for a better price because, honestly, who really buys 7 Series parts? Like, let's be real here. All right, guys. He's heading back right now. So I pulled up, basically, and they had a listing for an M Sport 740Li. And uh, unfortunately, it turns out it's not the one they were parting out. They were parting out a gray non-M Sport. And uh, I'm not gonna go buy those parts because it's not really gonna help me, you know? I'm not gonna be benefiting off the bumper that's like a completely different color. I'm not gonna be benefiting from literally the fender or anything at all. So I just came out here for nothing. It's all good. Let's just head home and uh, just do a, a full diagnostic on the car. Probably do an oil flush, do a couple more things. Maybe even go spend $60 on an oil filter housing gasket. Such a waste of money, but you gotta do what you gotta do. is actually probably one of the most unreliable cars I've ever purchased with all the lights on the dash that's physically possible and so many imperfections like on the dash there, the sunroof, the front end, like so many little things. Even when you drive the car, the whole car vibrates, transmission will go in part. Like there's so many things that I don't even know logically is this car even worth fixing. But you guys know that on this channel, we save all kinds of BMWs and I kind of really just want to save this one for some reason. Like I really like this car even though it's just it's just messed up. I really like it for some reason. So basically on the side of the road, guys, oh yeah, the reason I pulled over is because it said low oil. And uh, I filled it up two days ago. I filled it up yesterday. Not filled it up, but I topped it off, topped it off. And then today, again, it said low oil, and I was like, why? Like, you know, it's kind of concerning for me. So we pulled over, and then uh, basically when I opened up this oil cap, I'll show you guys what's going on in here real quick. Uh oh, gee, this looks good. Oh, yeah? That's weird. So that is really weird. <laughs> what? I guess when it was really, oh, that's actually a lot more uh, reassuring. There's no coolant, right? It was probably just condensation then. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so much reassuring, guys. I literally thought we had a blown head gasket on this side of the road. I was literally on the side of the road and I was like this. I literally was like, I set down everything, I had the oil cap right here, and I went off to the side of the road. And I was looking at all these cars passing by, and I'm like, what a hoopty, <laughs> you know? And then I was like, what? But, but then again, I was like, you know what? Maybe, maybe, you know, we, we can try to do a motor swap for the first time on the channel or something, you know, because I haven't done something like that yet. And I, I was just stressing out, but I was like, you know what? I haven't had any crazy lights on the dash. Uh, it is not smoking from the rear end. Uh, it's not overheating. So maybe it's just condensation. I'm just overreacting. And then I came out over here, checked out the coolant, and it just doesn't, it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look like it's clean. Actually, guys, it's green. <laughs> This guy's overreacting, What was going dude? on on the side of the road? Dude, I swear to God it was not green on the So side dramatic. Of the road. I swear to God it was not green, bro. I swear, to, dude, I'm so happy. He came God. home, oh my, blown head gasket, dude. We're gonna dude, throw the whole thing away. Dude, I called Erlon, the, the oh BMW. Oh my gosh. You know, he called the BMW hospital because he knows everything. Um, but basically, I called up Erlon, I was like, bro, I think I'm a blown head gasket. I was flipping out. And uh, yeah, honestly, I'm, dude, I'm really happy right Coolant's now. green. Oil is fine. Oil looks pretty good. I mean, there's not much, uh, I don't know if you guys can see. Dude, it just looks oil. That's good, it looks really good. So, at this point, uh, we're still gonna do an oil change. We're still gonna replace all the gaskets. Uh, so, while this stuff is still hot, let's go ahead and go into the interior and fix a few things that's causing some lights on the dash and just let this thing kind of cool down just a little bit. The roof right now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the roof will not shut. So, we ended up finding out, where's my keys? If we go to the trunk real quick, hopefully, Okay, it clears, it clears. What the heck? Look what we found down here. If you guys open this up, we found this little motor here. It looks like it's an aftermarket motor. It does not look like an OEM motor. And uh, this is for the sunroof. So it was just in the trunk. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know, you know, for what reason. Maybe this is the bad one and you replaced it and it went bad again. No idea. But we're going to go ahead and try to replace this again. And, um, or maybe not again. Maybe he bought this, but he didn't know how to do it. So we're going to go ahead and replace it. Hopefully our sunroof starts working. It doesn't move at all. And it's really frustrating, mainly because a lot of wind goes in when you're driving. And uh, when you're washing it, it kind of stresses you out you know so we're gonna try to do that this key battery is also low so the battery it keeps telling me the key battery is low um, a lot of again random lights we're gonna try to get situated so first things first let's knock out the key because that's easy we got some new batteries here boys let's go ahead and pop one of these bad boys out throw it right in there bada bing bada bang that is one fix that is so satisfying that they're just fixing one of the problems that's with the car 
Okay, there we go. So that is good to go. Um, this battery is gonna go ahead and throw it away. We're recording super late at night because literally the entire day, guys, I've been literally heading out trying to get parts for the car, trying to figure out what's going on here, what's going on there. And I've been just stuck on the side of the road just trying to figure everything out. As you guys know, it gets dark around 5 p.m. now, which sucks. It actually, like, you can't do anything in your day anymore. I was about to just go upstairs and call it a day, but I was like, you know what, no. Like, even though it's dark outside, hope you guys can understand. I'm still trying to get you guys a video. So we're gonna still go to work on the car. We're gonna do a bunch of things in the garage because God bless, we have a garage right now. Hey, Sonora, what do you think about our political issues? <laughs> <laughs> Show him the light when you're holding. He's, we're doing the most right now to get you guys the best quality. But hey, I mean, my political issues, uh, I don't do politics, to be oh, honest. Okay. I, I just don't. I don't affiliate okay. myself with politics. I just don't get into it because it's, it gets a little crazy, if you ask me. Okay, Anyhow, uh, let's, go ahead and, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into the interior because uh, I really, 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 really want the center to work. Like, it's going to make me feel so much better if at least something starts going according to plan. So clearly there was, this is the one that he removed. There's teeth right here and the teeth are like this. I don't get it. When I was looking at this, I was like, how does this grip onto that? You know what I mean? Um, so I looked on eBay and you guys can see the identical motor, but it actually has a gear on there and this one does not. So uh, I'm just really happy it's this, you know? Yeah. I was actually starting to think maybe cause it looks like he, he played with this. Like, do you see like, like uh, flathead marks and stuff? I thought he broke a gear or something out of here and I'd have to remove the whole roof assembly. Oh, it scared the baloney out of me. <laughs> That's my parents. Um, so yeah, thankfully, um, looks like we just have to order a new motor and then our sunroof should be good to go. Mm -hmm. um, at least now we know what the issue is. Let's go ahead and put everything back together. So uh, at this point, um, we're gonna try to replace all the oil filter stuff. So um, before we actually get into all this, we do need to drain the oil. So that's gonna be our first mission. So let's go ahead and drain the oil. Hopefully we don't see a bunch of coolant because again, as much as my hopes are high right now, hoping for the best, if we do see a bunch of oil, coolant in the oil, this could be worse comes to worst. And uh, this might be the worst seven series I've ever seen. So hopefully the engine's still good. It is an N54, it is the newest model of it. So hopefully it is the best version of it. Um, I'm having hopes for it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Please there. don't be a bunch of coolant in the oil. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and get underneath the car and uh, drain the oil. Oh shit. Okay guys. A little bit of an oopsie. Well, epic fail, dude. Oh my god. This thing, because- how do you miss that bad? I didn't, it missed, dude. It literally hit it and it bounced up. What are you doing? This isn't physics. <laughs> it's physics, bro. It's... Well, lot, I didn't even hit the thing and it bounced up. We can clean this. This is bad. <laughs> All right, guys, that was an absolute disaster. <laughs> We had to do so much cleaning and it looks like the guy used a self-tapping screw. Honestly, I, I don't know what else to expect. Whoever that owned this car before us, he didn't know what he was doing. I don't even understand how he able to afford a car that costs eighty thousand dollars and like not care about it whatsoever. Like that's really sad. Yeah, I saw threads from the the screw. It was a yeah. self-tapping screw. He already he already stripped the first screw and then he used a self-tapping one the wrong way on this one. So we're gonna have to figure this out. Um, as for now, we, luckily we don't have to put new oil in it. Our goal is right now. Um, to replace the oil filter, housing, gasket, and all that stuff, because it is leaking significantly downwards. But the plus news is, and the good side after all of this, is that there is no coolant in the oil. So that's a huge plus, that's a huge plus, which means our motor is good, which alone is the money. That is right there, all the money. So thank the Lord, we checked the oil, it looks really good, there's no coolant mixture, anything like that, nothing crazy, it was just condensation uh, when I pulled over on the side of the road and it was really hot. So as for now, let's just go ahead and just remove all this stuff, replace the gaskets, and uh, pretty much just get it pretty much ready to put new oil in, so when we get the new drain screw, the engine should be 100% ready to go, and hopefully no leaks from the front end, because honestly, that's what's causing all the oil buildup, that is literally causing most of it. So once we clean all that off, well, uh, we'll do a full cleaning once we actually replace both those gas and see if we'll have any other leaks. But um, I think literally the oil filter housing gaskets are our biggest issue right there. And then we have to deal with the screw after.
All right, guys, so we removed the oil cooler housing. Look look how drenched in oil that is. That is disgusting. Can you actually see that? Hold on, the, the light is like too much of a shadow. Oh my God, guys, that is, oh, the, uh, detail that, dude, please, <laughs> please. And uh, this gasket is rock solid. You know what's the saddest part, though? I don't care that this is rock solid. That's kind of normal. The oil filter gasket that the yacht took off the oil filter was hard as a rock. When was the last time you replaced the filter? That's really... That kind of pisses me off. I'm happy the oil looked good, the engine runs fine, but if I wasn't the next owner, this would have probably been gone in literally a month time. Like I'm telling you guys, I really hope the first owner was not the person that did this to the car, whoever they paid $80,000 for this car. I really hope the second owner that picked this up and be like 15 is the one that did this to this car. And then hopefully, you know, everything will be gravy in the Navy once we fix everything up. Yeah, so let's go ahead and remove that gasket. Let's go ahead and just clean up all this stuff, all this gunk. We're gonna remove all these hoses. Uh, we're gonna take all this off and clean everything off properly. It's just so much gunk buildup, it's ridiculous. This gasket is just, oh my God, it's a rock. Let's go ahead and get it out. We finally got the whole oil filter housing out. So this is the actual oil cooler gasket, oil filter gasket. These are both just, just destroyed, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and just clean this up as much as we can, put on the gaskets, and uh, hopefully finally assemble this entire thing. Um, as for the oil, we can't put in the car just yet because you guys saw the screw, but uh, let's go ahead and just uh, finish putting all this stuff back together, though. Bada bing, bada bing, guys. Finally, I'm super happy. Everything went at least pretty well. At least we got this stuff done. So we replaced uh, the oil cooler gaskets and also the oil filter housing gasket. So both of those are done. We also cleaned up the area around it to make sure that, you know, if we see any new leaks around here, we'll know. We also replaced the gasket on the oil filter. So all the gaskets over here are good to go. Even the valve cover actually looks like it's in really good shape, surprisingly. There's actually no leaks within the actual ignition and spark plugs and nothing from around from what I saw. So that's looking pretty good. So if anything, um, we're gonna go ahead and just wipe this down. We gotta clean them. Oh, actually, my brother cleaned a good chunk. Of it. Did you clean it? A good chunk of it yeah. Dang, he cleaned a really good chunk of it. Um, there is a huge oil leak down there. It could be again from the oil filter. One of these days, we're gonna go ahead and just wipe all this down. Uh, that drain screw. We're not gonna put any oil. That drain screw is stripped. So either we need another OEM one, which we'll try on it, and if the OEM one doesn't work, we're gonna need a new bigger threaded one and just thread it in there. So we're gonna have to figure that oil drain situation. But other than that, I'm actually really, really happy on how today went. I'm just super happy we have no coolant in our oil. Honestly, the drain thing, the drain screw was expected. It was honestly expected knowing how poorly this car was maintained. He, he the worry that previously on this car literally did not know how to work on cars. He destroyed literally everything. Interior is completely messed up. Did everything like he, he like half done it. The sunroof, he took out the motor but didn't put it back in. Like that doesn't make any sense. Like, and the drain screw, he took it out when he put some kind of screw from like Lowe's. It, like really dude, this is a seven series. I don't, anyhow. We're gonna go ahead and just clean up around here i know today was kind of a short video but we did what we can do inside of the garage we are going to be getting some new panels on this car thankfully since it's not a bonehead gasket we need to get a front bumper do you guys think we should get an m sport or just a regular one because the rear is regular or should we also change the rear as well since it has some paint damage we have some paint peeling right here so should we actually replace the rear bumper and front bumper uh and replace the fender as well and get the whole car polished I'm actually thinking like, should we actually fully restore this 7 Series, like make it absolutely perfect, like I actually think that that's something we should do on this channel, is it financially a good decision? I, 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 I don't think. But I do think it's definitely gonna be a fun build for me and my brother because this car has been completely like abused and I know me and my brother can definitely go ahead and just restore this thing, bring it back to its life, clear all the lights, make sure this thing's a full luxury car like it was when it was released in 2011. If you guys wanna see that content, make sure to smash that like button, cop some Saber BMW merch, you'll be shouted out in the next video and probably even featured on the, you know, the 7 Series plaque. We should make a 7 Series plaque as well, right? Honestly, I think that'd be a great idea. Yeah, right? So honestly, I, I, 
We should make a seven series pack. The M4 pack is already on the way. It's getting made. Obviously, it's not done yet. You guys can still enter to be on the M4 pack. Actually, technically, if you guys purchase merch right now, you'll be on the M4 pack and the seven series pack. Ooh. That's a, that's a double wham. Ooh. And you'll be shot on the next video. So, bam, bam. <laughs> so, if you guys want to be shot on the next video, make sure you just cop some merch. You'll be on the seven series pack and the M4 pack. If you guys don't know what that is exactly, it's basically one of these. So we got a couple over here. We have a stack of them from all the builds we've done in the past. This is the five. 535 2011 these are all the people that contributed to the build all the companies that contributed to the build right here and this was all done early of 2020 so if you guys will be featured on a plaque make sure to cop the merch these aren't just sitting here for now they're sitting here for now mainly because your man is actually moving out it's crazy your man's moving out he's getting his own garage his own home the garage is very small so it's not gonna be really like we're gonna be doing a lot of builds in the garage but we're definitely gonna have all the things featured we're gonna have this keys motorsports thing featured we have all our tools there and um it's gonna be a place where we're going to be taking pictures, posting on Instagram. So if you guys wanna be part of that environment in the new home, support your man right here. But yeah, honestly, I'm really happy about that. I'm happy that we found out the sunroof, you know, was that the little motor? Yeah. It's just the gear. Just the teeth. So we need to just get a new motor on there. And then now we know now we know the, the reason why we're leaking so much oil. It's because that drain screw is just completely stripped. Yep. So that's a win-win. And then we also replaced the gaskets as well. Um, I think today was a good day. Today's a good day. It started off pretty rough. Uh, my girl's mad at me. I was supposed to meet up with her later today, but you know how to make a video for you guys. So make sure to smash that like button. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.